Hi, everyone. Plastic EP coming in from Melbourne. And let me tell you, I've got a session drummer. He's a superstar, right? He played on the first ACDC album, High Voltage, and he played on another, another other few hit songs, Australian artist. And I want to introduce Tony Correnti to everyone there in the world. How are you today, Tony? Hi. Now, Tony, tell everybody how you ended up playing on the first ACDC album, Australian album, in 1975, High Voltage. Tell everyone the story. Well, I was recording with Jackie Christian and Flay, and we finished our session at 11 o'clock, and George approached me and asked me to stay back, that his young brothers were coming to the studio to record a couple of songs. And I stayed back, after midnight I arrived, and the first bloke I saw was uh, an old friend of mine, Bon Scott, coming in through the studio. And uh, uh, we had a cup of coffee and a cup of teas, and we started recording a couple of songs that night, and uh, we, uh, I got asked back to go back for the next four nights. And we recorded eight tracks, seven on the album and, and the single High Voltage. And that's that. Two times they asked you to join the band. Two times. Tell me about that. Well, the first night they were excited that we did it, uh, record the two songs so easily. And uh, George approached me and asked me to join the band. And I said, I just finished recording my other band. We got a single coming out. I don't think it's appropriate for me to, to join the band right now. And a couple of nights later, Malcolm and George and Angus, all three of them approached me to join the band. And uh, one new problem arised. I had an Italian passport. And I couldn't go to England. I wanted to go to England almost straight away. And I, I couldn't go overseas. So I had to decline again. Okay. You couldn't go overseas because they were going to put you in the military service. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I, I had to do the army. I would have okay. been picked up in Rome to do the national service. And I, I, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> hey, I love the story. Now, I've got to ask you, Tony Wright. Now, what happens is you played on Stevie Wright's song yeah. Evie Part 3. That's correct? Yes. It was already finished. And I, I, I got asked to finish off the, the, the song, Evie Part 3. Yes. Well, I was this morning, I was king of the world. Longing to know if we the boy. Unbelievable. You're an Australian rock and roll legend. Now, I want to ask you, for John Paul Young, you played on Yesterday's Hero. Is that correct? 100%. <laughs> you are a legend. When I walk down the street, see the people who stop and
music. Did you play on that one? Well, I, I recorded two songs for John Paul Young, Yesterday Heroes, and, and, and another song which I'm not 100% uh, sure which one. Uh, uh, my recollection uh, is of another song and not I uh, hate the music, but it was the very next single after Yesterday Heroes. Is that song, Love is in the Air, is that the song or you're not sure? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I don't remember. Okay. okay, that's fine. Now listen, when you look back and you're part of Australian rock and roll history, how do you feel today? Well, I, I <laughs> for, uh, for 40 for years, I didn't feel anything at all. I, I was making pizzas for 40 years. And uh, 40 years later, I, I couldn't believe that, uh, uh, that that was that important, you know. But now it seems to be. Now, listen, when you hear high voltage on the radio, <laughs> when you hear that song, what, what do you do, you know? Well, for the last seven years, I've been playing high voltage with lots of uh, different other bands. Uh, I feel proud to to uh, been part of uh, the first album of high voltage, and uh, I owe everything to George and Harry Vander, George Young and Harry Vander. Yeah. Now I'm just saying, if people want to come and buy your pizza at the pizza shop. Tell them where the pizza shop is and when you're open. Well, we open between uh, Tuesday to Sunday, uh, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. And uh, uh, it's in Penshurst Street, Penshurst. What's the name of the business? Uh, Tonino's. You know what? This is unbelievable. As I said, the world needs to know you, Tony, because this is like, it's blown my mind. Such a nice person. You must be, as I said, you are an Australian rock and roll session drummer legend. How does it feel even today? I think it's unbelievable. Well, uh, for 40 years, nobody believed me. <laughs> now they do. Uh, it feels good. Uh, I'm very proud of the work I've done for George and Harry. They were my idols from the Easy Beats. And uh, playing with them and being associated with them is uh, uh, an honour for me. So, yeah, uh, it's great. Now, Tony, I've got to ask you, what drum kit did you play for the High Voltage song in the album? Uh, my Ludwig, 1967 Ludwig. What color was it? Uh, blue pearl. And what was the setup on the drum kit? Can you tell people, the drummers in the world? Oh, just a simple kit. Three crashes, uh, snare, little tom, big tom, and bass drum. Just a simple, simple set. Tony... I wish you all the best in the future. I think you should keep on drumming. I think you should get some more <laughs> session work and keep playing because this is this is one of the most unbelievable stories in rock and roll history. You know, and I salute Thank you. you. I salute you so much and everybody in the world needs to know about you. <laughs> Thank you very much.